one day sanatan goswami was chanting his japa and in meditation while chanting japa a devotee supposed to meditate on lord krishna and his pastimes there are two categories of pastimes of lord krishna one pastime is with his go cowherd boyfriends and next pass second pastime is of lord krishna is with gopis or cowherd girls so sanatan goswami was chanting his japa hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and meditating on krishna how he is watching radharani incognito that he is watching radharani incognito and then the young radharani was young and then he she had her girlfriends around so if one girlfriend slept and fell radharani ran she also stumbled with her sari and fell so sanatan goswami laughed smiled just imagine chanting japa thinking wrong things don't bring you that much of purity chanting japa thinking about guru and krishna or krishna or guru or both and their past times their dealings with others or with you is the best way to chant japa okay when sanatan goswami was sitting and chanting and laughed at that time a crippled person crippled devotee he was also a devotee he walked and he knew the potential and power of sanatan goswami but when he looked and he laughed so he thought he's laughing because i cannot walk right well i'm lame so he felt bad the crippled devotee felt insulted thinking that oh what a great devotee but he is laughing at me see me crippled so sanatan goswami lost the meditation lost his meditation on radharani and krishna because of that offense because devotee does not want to offend another devotee even within the mind sanatan goswami did not offend that devotee even within the mind he did not know that there is a crippled devotee walking because he is chanting and is in meditation of radharani and krishna so rather the meditation lost so he was wondering what happened and he asked all the devotees what is what happened why am i meditation broke i am chanting japa every day very nicely i didn't commit any offense he calculated some devotee suggested possibly some offense due to some offense your meditation is not connecting with krishna so he cal- he thought he found no offense he had committed which is true he did not commit so prabhu goswami suggested you know if you want to find out if somebody is offended if some vaishnava is offended by you you should invite everybody to eat with you so there was a big bandara nice sumptuous feast cooked and every sadhu was invited that the crippled devotee also came in the bandara so the process of bandara is that you distribute prasadam everybody sits down a line and after while almost they are finishing eating you have to give dakshina everybody that is the process you have to give cash to everybody 
So Sanatana Goswami, he wanted everybody's remnants. So he was giving Dachina and taking little bit remnants on his bow from everybody's plate. So when he came in the crippled devotee's plate, crippled devotee said, hey, today you want to take something from my plate, and that day you were laughing at me. <sighs> what? I was laughing. No, you were laughing when I walked in front of you. So, Sanatana Goswami invited him privately and told him he was not life laughing at him. Then, that crippled devotee forgave Sanatana Goswami. From that, Sanatana Goswami's meditation, Lord Krishna and Lord Radharani's um, pastimes began while chanting. So, committing offense against devotee, even within the mind in Kaliyuga, is not appreciated. The sin's thought within the mind brings no result, but offense against the devotee, even within the mind, can influence one's devotional service can reduce the potency of devotional service. One should be very careful while chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sanjay.